Hey guys, what's up? Ben here from nocodetribe.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this custom navbar in Webflow. We're gonna use the navbar component, div blocks, nav links, and Webflow interactions. Let's get started. So before jumping into Webflow, let's first have a look at what's going on when I interact with this navbar. So the main interaction in this navbar, it's here, this cross, you can click and hide the nav links. So, and click again to show them. That's the main interaction we're gonna build in uh, this tutorial. And as you, as you can see, there's also a small hover effect on the links, but that's, that's not much at all. So let's now jump into Webflow. So as usual, I um, created a project with two parts. So the top part here is the template and the bottom part is where I'm gonna re rebuild this, uh, this nav bar. So let's jump into the template. So let's first have a look at the structure of the template. So inside this template, the first element I see, it's here, this navbar. So it's the navbar component you can find in the element panel at the bottom here. This is my navbar. Uh, inside this navbar, what do we have? We have a container and uh, inside this container, we have a div block with nav links. We have a link block with a bench of div blocks and we have a menu button with two div blocks. So let's first um, recreate this in my new project here, and then we're gonna play with the interactions. So to start, we're gonna grab the navbar component. So I select here my bottom section, I go to the element panel, I grab the navbar element. So now it's here, navbar. I'm gonna give it a class name of navbar. Good. And I'll go to the template to see how I styled this one. So what do I need? I need overflow hidden here. So overflow hidden. Back to the template. What, what else? A transparent background color. And that's it. Pretty easy. So I select again my new navbar. I need a transparent background color. Uh, here we go. And that's it. Cool. Uh, inside this navbar, I'll just go back. Yes, that's it. So inside this navbar, I have a few, a few elements here. But by default, inside the navbar, I also have a few elements. So I have my container, so that's good. And inside this container, I have a brand link, I have a div block with nav links, and I have a menu button with an icon. So what do I need to keep, when in, what do I need to delete? If I close this one here, I see, so the nav, nav menu, it's the nav menu here. So this one, we're gonna keep it. Menu button is this menu button, so we keep this one. This brand link, we don't need it. This is a link block, this is different. So brand link, we can delete. And uh, yeah, this, only this link block here is missing in my container. So I'm gonna go and grab this uh, link block in my element panel. So here's the link block, cool. Now let's style a bit, uh, let's style these elements. So the container, do I need to style it? So let's go to the template. Yes, I need um, I need a display flexbox, a line, center. Yeah, so let's go to the new project container. I give it a class name of container and uh, a display flex, a line, center here. And go back to the template, just make sure there is nothing else. No. Okay, so we're done with the, with the container. Inside this container, I have a first div block with nav links. So this div block, is there any style? No, no styling, so we don't need to 
to do anything. Inside nav links, do I need to do something? Overflow hidden, the index. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of stuff to do. So let's go to the new project inside my nav menu. It's where I'm gonna find the nav links here. So I'm gonna select the first one, give it a class name of uh, nav link. <coughs> And uh, go back to the templates, have a look. I want overflow hidden. Uh, I want position, if I go back to the main, uh, okay, by default, it's position relative. So we don't need to change this. Cool. So nav link, Z index one. I need the background color white and overflow hidden. Okay, good. So nav link. Overflow hidden, and it's the index one, and I need background color white. Good. Um, we are gonna just delete those one, those two here because we can just copy paste the first one we styled, so we save some some time. So we need four links like here one we have four links and i'm gonna replace the text so, so we have home we have projects we have about and store good now let's um go back to the template nav link and yeah, as you can see here, all my nav links, they have a combo class. So in this case, my, the first one, it's combo class link one. Sec second one is combo class link two, etc., etc. So what I want is to here go back to the main class, which is nav link NB5. NB5. So to, to access this, you have to click on, the, on here, this orange text. And Let's have a look at the main class, the styling of the main class. So I have a padding here, 14 pixels. So if I go to my nav link here, so I'm, I'm doing the nav class right now, so I can modify here and put 14. Um, what else? If I go back to the template, to the main class, I have 14, size 16 pixels capitalize and that's it so I'm here in my project so I need to change the sizing here so 16 capitalize and uh, yeah and that's it we're good so it looks it looks yeah exactly the same so for the, um, for the tutorial video, I'm going to place this nav bar here in the center um, because it's more, it's more visual and easier for you guys to follow. So to do that, I'm going to play with the, here the section, give it a display flex, horizontal, center, center, and now I have my nav bar here in the center. Yeah, good. So what's next? Um, let's go back to the... No, let's now play uh, not play let's now build here this cross so this cross it's inside this uh, link block here i have two div blocks so let's yeah let's do that so in my new project i have here my link block i'm going to move it above the menu button this menu link that menu i can close it okay link block let's give it a class name of um how did i call this one menu icon so let's go yeah let's call it menu icon inside this menu icon i need two two div blocks so let's go grab this one div block copy paste i have a second one so in the template let's have a look um, i need the width of 30 pixels height one pixel a color black and the transform okay let's start with the sizing so i select here my div block i'm going to give it a class name of menu bar 
um, menu bar one actually because I need two different styling so menu bar one width of 30 pixels height one pixel um, background color of black yeah this black is good and uh, what else I think yeah to transform here let's go back to the templates have a look so the transform let's have a look at this transformer so in I want to rotate on the z-axis I want to rotate minus 45 degrees let's do this so I am here menu bar one transform I want to rotate minus 45 degrees okay um, I think we missed something I missed something in the menu icon here if I go to the template yeah we need to we need to start this one this one first so the menu icon in the template what do I need I need a display flexbox align center justify center horizontal so menu icon display flex horizontal center center uh, what else width of 30 pixels height 30 position relative the index 5 so width of 30 30 position relative Z index 5 Good. background color white and that's it go to my template background color white and I think we're good to go yes so this one um, okay that's the menu bar one I think we are done with this one yes let's style the second one so menu bar here in the template menu bar one is done menu bar two is the same as menu bar one uh, except there is an absolute position here and this one was static so I'm, I'm here in my new project. I'm going to give this div block a class name of menu bar 2. Um, width of 30 pixels, height 1, position absolute. Uh, what's the positioning here? If I go to the template, I want 15 on top, auto, auto, auto. So I want. 15 on top auto 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 good and in the template again I want the background color black and the transform this time I want to rotate on the Z axis I want to rotate 45 degrees the other one was minus 45 degrees so here's my bar I want to background color black like the one before yeah let's do the let's do here the 333 yes and uh, transform rotate z ax 45 here you go I just want to go back to the menu one here just for the color let's give it the same let's make it nice Good, so it looks it looks the same. So we now have the cross, the menu icon cross. Good. Um, let's uh, next let's play with the menu button here. So this menu button, as you can see here, it's not visible. It's it's not visible because if I go to the settings here. It's only visible on smartphone, on uh, yeah, on mobile landscape, and mobile portrait. So it's actually the um, to make it responsive. This nav bar, I created a second um, a second menu button. So as you can see here on the landscape, so the the nav links are hidden, and I have a second button here, and when I click. No. 
Okay, if I go to the preview, when I click, I get my, my menus going from top to bottom. So this is why we need a second button. So let's create this one. Let's close this. Okay. So let's create this button here and uh, set it to visible only landscape, only um, mobile landscape and mobile portrait. So what do I need? I need two div blocks. And um, I think, yeah, if I go to the styling, this one and this one, yeah, they are, they are exactly the same. They are menu bar one. So I can actually copy those two div blocks here and paste it in my menu button. This icon I can delete, I don't need one. So I'm gonna just copy and paste, copy, and paste and this don't forget to go to settings and make it visible only for landscape and portrait mobile so now if i go to my here okay and this one of course we don't we, we don't want two men, two menu buttons so the first one let's hide it for the um, for uh mobile landscape and portrait i have to hide this one so if I go to the template here and on menu here, styling, I can see display none. So let's do this here, display none. Good. So we now have our menu button. Like, um, oh yeah, we have to change the, the, cross, the cross as well. So this, if I go to the template here, I guess the transform, yeah, transform is zero, zero, zero. So I, I wanna cancel my rotation. So zero degrees and menu bar is, cut, no, is 90 degrees to make it vertical. Yeah, and uh, yes. Oh no, it's the menu bar too. Yeah, transform my 90 degrees here. And yeah, we have to modify the absolute sizing here. So if I go back to my template, 18 and 18. So yeah, good. So now we have a perfect cross in my new project, like the template, cool. Let's go back to the desktop. So now we are good with the structure of our nav bar. Yeah. So let's now play with the interactions. So if I look at my template, I see two small intera interaction icons here. One on the nav bar and one on the menu icon. Let's uh, first uh, yeah, let's first build this one, the menu icon interaction. So I'm gonna select here this element, go to interaction, and I want on the mouse click to create, so one animation on the first click here, first click, and the second uh, animation on the second click. Let's look at the first one. So we need to create all those steps here. So, What's going on? Nav link, L uh, link one. Okay, so we forgot to, yes, I forgot to give combo classes to my nav links here. That's, that's important to create this interaction on click. So I have to go back to the um, new project here, styling, and give a combo class of uh, to, to differentiate every single link because every single link is gonna have a different, um, a, a different delay on the interaction. So I need to select, I need to differentiate each link. For, at the moment, it's only one, uh, one class name, so I cannot make the difference. So I need combo classes. Here on my first one, I'm gonna create one. Second one is gonna be two three and four, easy. 
that's good. Go back to the template, interaction, this interaction here. So what do I want? At 0, 0, 0, I want the navlink 1 to move on the x 140% in 0 0.5 seconds. So let's do that. Let's do it step by step because there's quite a few steps here. So let's create it step by step. So I need, yeah, 0 0.5 seconds, x 140% and is in. So I'm going to select here my menu icon. Oh, I have to close this one first. Menu icon. So I want to create a new mouse click interaction. On the first click, I want to start an animation, create a new animation. Uh, I'm going to call it um, mouse click. Oops. So yeah, mouse, mouse first click to make the difference with the second click. Timed animation. So I want to select here my nav link, my first one. Click the plus. I want to move it. 0 0.5, that's good. Is in. On the X, I want to move it 140. 140%. Ah, okay. That's the first step here. Let's go back to the template. Mouse click. Then I want the menu icon to rotate. So this, this is live link one. That's the one we've just, we've just done. So what's the second step here? Still at zero, 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 I want my menu icon to rotate in 0 0.7 seconds ease. I want to rotate on Z, on Z axe 135 degrees. Menu icon 0, 07 is 135. Let's go. Menu icon. Okay, still at 0, 0. I want to, I want to rotate, sorry. 0, 07 is on the, what well, it was on the X, oh no, on the Z, 135. Cool. Fair preview, that's it. Yeah. Let's close this one. Go back to the template. Mouse click, interaction. So the third step is at 038. I want the nav link two. Uh, to move 150% in 0 0.4 seconds and is in. So 0 0.38, 0 0.4, 150. Click this one. No, close this. This one, I go to my interaction. I select my second link. I click the plus here. I want to move. Delay it was 0 0.38 is in and I want it to move how much was it? 150%. Yes. Uh, go back to the template. That's a, it's, that's a lot of back and forth, but to show you guys every step, it's, um, I think it's the best way to, to do it. So third step, okay, it was one, one zero four. I have to change this one back. So that's the third step here. So fourth, I want my navlink one, L1 here. Still at, at zero 038, I want the opacity of my link one to go to zero. So let's go, let's close this, menu icon, first click, uh, 130, uh, 0 0.38, I want my navlink 1 here, 
to no yeah I have to select first this one sorry click 0.38 I want the opacity to go down to 0% and uh, I have to change this one again it was 0.4 not 0.5 and I forgot the here duration let's have a look let's close this Um, opacity was zero. Okay, so zero durations. I'm gonna close this one. First click, opacity, duration, zero seconds. Okay, so we're good with the first four steps. Close. Let's still go back to the templates, have a look at the rest. Okay. So we're, we're done with the four here. So the fifth at 0 0.68, I want my nav link three to move on the X 150%, zero three here. So 0 0.68, zero three, 150. Okay. Um, I want, so I want my navling three, let's click this plus here to move here, zero sixty-eight, zero three, one fifty. One, no, not one fifty percent, uh, pixels, one fifty percent. Good. That's done with this step. Let's go to the template. So that was this one. Uh, is in, I forgot this one again. Okay, I'm gonna change it later. Uh, so the next step, still at 0 0.68. I want my nav link to the opacity to go to 0%. So close interaction new interaction this one I'm gonna change here here the is in okay and now I want my navring 2 at 6068 I want the opacity to go down to 0% in 0 seconds good Oops. Yeah, that's good. Let's close this. Go back to the template. Here we are. So this is done. This is done. Yeah. So next step is at 0 0.9 seconds. So at 0 0.9 seconds, I want the nav link 4 in 0 0.25 seconds to move on the X 150%. So zero nine zero twenty five, one fifty. Close this one. Select my link four. Plus move at zero nine zero twenty five is in. I want to move 150%. Go. This is done. Close. Go back to the template. Interaction. So this one is done. Yes. Next one. At one, I want my nav link three to to opacity 0%. So at one, line link three, 0%. Close this one. Go back to my new project, new interaction. So link three, click the plus. I want the opacity, delay one, duration zero. I want the opacity to go to 
Okay. This is done, and now let's finish it with this first click interaction. Last step is navlink L4, so the fourth navlink. At 1.1 seconds, I want the opacity to go down to zero. 1.1, zero for the L4. No, close. This, mouse click, first click. I select my last nav link, click the plus here, opacity 1.1, duration zero seconds. I want to go down to 0%. So now if I preview, that's, that's what we want. Cool. So we are done with the mouse first click interaction. Okay. Let's now create the interaction on second click. Let's go to the template. Let's have a look. So on second click, it's this one here. So what's going on? Okay. So once again, lots of, uh, lots of steps. So the first step is the menu icon. So the cross, I want it to rotate back to original position. So zero degrees here on the Z ax in 0 0.5 seconds ease. Okay. Let's do that. So menu icon on second click. I want to start an animation, create a new animation. I'm going to call it mouse. Sorry. Second click. And uh, I want the menu icon. So this one, I want it to rotate with ease back to zero. So that's our first step. Close this, go back to the template. Here, second step is the nav link four. I want the opacity to go back to 100% in zero five seconds. Close interaction on second click. I want the nav link four. So this one here, I want the opacity in zero five. I want the opacity to go back to 100%. Good. Template. Second click. Still on zero, zero, zero. I want the nav link four to go back to initial position on X to move is out. So navling four is out zero. Close. Mouse second click still on zero. Navling four, I select, click the plus. I want to move is out I want, on X. I want to move to initial position, so zero pixels. Okay, this is done. Let's go to the template again. Second click. So now on 0 0.2 seconds, I want navlink 3, L3, to go back to initial position on X. So 0 0.2, 0 0.55 is out, zero. Close. Menu icon, second click. So I want the uh, link three, this one here. Click the plus, move, delay zero two. Zero fifty five is out. X zero pixels, so initial position here. This for link three. Okay, I close. I go to my template. Second click. Zero two. This one is the one we've just done. 
So what's the next step? I want the same element, so navlink 3. On 0 0.5, I want the opacity here to go back to 100%. Easy. Close. New project. Now second click. I want the same element. So now link 3 here. So I just click the plus. I want the opacity 0 0.5. I want the opacity to go back 100%. So cool. That's done. What's the next step? Second click. So this is done. This is done. Yes. Now 0 0.4. I want the nav link 2 in 0 0.7 seconds is out to move to initial position on X. Close menu icon. Second click. So I select my nav link 2, click the plus, move, delay 0 0.4. I want on is out to move back in X to zero pixels and duration was zero seven. That's more near nav link to good. Let's close this one. Template interaction on second click. So this is the one we've just done zero four zero seven zero. Okay. And next step is the same element, navlink 2 on 0 0.5 here to go back to 100% opacity. Okay, new project, interaction, second click. This element, navlink 2, same timing, opacity, 0 0.5, 100%, good. Go to the template again. Mouse click. Second click. So this is done. This is done. The last two. So the last two on 0, 06. On 0, 06, I want the nav link 1. In uh, 0 0.8 seconds is out. I want to move back to. I want to move back to uh, initial position. And I guess the last one is the nav link 1. Yeah. I want the opacity to go back to 100%. So let's do those two at the same time now. 0, 06, 0, 08 is out, 0. Okay, the last two. So I'm going to select Navlink 1. I want to move, delay 0, 06, duration 0, 08 is out. On X, I want to move to initial position. And the same element at the same timing, I want the opacity to go back to 100%. Nice. So now if I go to the preview here, it should work. Let's have a look. Works. It works. That's it. If I go to my template, I see it's, it's exactly the same. So now we're just missing the, um, the underline when I hover over the links. That's, um, that's going to be quick. Yeah, we can see here it's, it's not there. So let's do that now. Preview. Um, let's have a look at the template. Styling. So those, those, this underline, it appears when I hover over it. So it's going to be here on this hover. So I have to look for the, the element where there is a hover, uh, a hover styling here, and I guess it's going to be the hover one. So if I go uh, three selectors, so I'm going to go to the main, here the main class name. And here, here you go, hover, there's a small uh, blue dot, it means there is a special, a special styling on the hover. And uh, okay, it's not there, so, but I guess it's this one here. I'm going to, um, if I go to the here, nav menu, no, not nav menu, nav link. I don't want the nav link cl combo class one, I want the main class, so nav link here. And if I give the de decoration underline, 
no, sorry. It's not, yeah, I have to go on hover. So this reset. So main, main class name here on hover. I want decoration, yes. And now that should work. If I click, go to the preview. There you go. Yeah. So I have to do it every time now. I don't know why, but yeah. I have to do for every nav link. It, it seems it doesn't work when I go select this one and on the hover. Yeah, doesn't matter. So I'll do it for every one. Select this one. Uh, hover, decoration, nav link, hover, decoration. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now, yeah, I have my underline when I hover over the links and my interaction when I click the cross. Cool, so we are done with the desktop version. Now let's play with the, the responsiveness. So let's first have a look at what's going on when, uh, when I play with the template. So when I click this plus here, I see my links appearing from top to bottom with a nice delay effect. <clears throat> so the top one is appearing first and then second, third and fourth. So it's like a really nice delay effect. And on my project so far, yeah, nothing. When I click, nothing happens. Okay, go back to the designer. So first, um, as you can see here, this menu button is placed uh, almost at the top of the section. Here it's in the center, so there's not enough space for the links to appear under that. So I'm gonna move this menu button to the top here. So to do that, I'm gonna select the section and uh, change the align to top and give it a small padding of, um, of 55 pixels. Yeah, that looks similar. Good, now um, let's modify the styling because as you know, uh, CSS, so elements, uh, CSS elements, CSS styling you give here in the desktop, it goes, it cascades down to every, um, every uh, media display, every like, size of screens. But if I change, if I change, if I change something here, uh, it doesn't go back up. So <clears throat> let's have a look at the template. If I changed some styling on the mobile landscape. So yes, display, Flex. This is display flex. This is only for mobile landscape and uh, mobile portrait. So I have to change some styling, which make, which makes sense because uh, it's not the same uh, design. So let's uh, so navbar navbar in my project here. I want to give div block here. Uh, how was it again? It's uh, yeah horizontal. I align justify okay good we're good for that what else uh, margin top margin 15 width of 300 overview overflow show so top margin 15 width of 300 and overflow show back to the template nothing else okay for my container, anything special in the template? No. For my nav menu, anything? We need a color, background color transparent here on my nav menu div block. So here I am. I'm gonna force it transparent. Sometimes it uh, doesn't work. My nav links, display, so display none. Yeah, as you can see here, there is all those, the, the nav links here, they are um, display none. That's because we're gonna use the, um, we're gonna use the interaction on the nav bar opens to show them one by one, to have this nice, uh, this nice uh, effect. Okay, so I have to give every single link uh, display none. Display none, and I do that for every nav link. Good. So I think we are good with the, this. This one is hidden because it's the one for the desktop, and this one is visible. 
but this one should be already okay color background color transparent okay let's force it I'm not sure it's necessary but just in case and uh, we have a transform zero zero which I think is already done yeah okay good so we are good with the styling um, of, uh, of here the template and the new project so now we can um, we can go play and and create this uh, this interaction on the nav bar. So let's go in the template. Let's have a look at what's going on when um, when I click on this plus here. So I go to interaction. So I have an um, an interaction nav bar opens, and inside this nav bar opens, I have all these uh, transform happening. So let's have a look. Uh, this is at zero zero zero. It's I want the nav link, nav link. So I want the four nav links, the opacity. I want them to go to zero. Yes, and the four nav links. I want them to move minus ten, minus ten pixels on the y. So I want them to opacity zero and move them on the y axis. To go down 10 pixels so let's create that so i select my nav bar here i need to close this first sorry so nav bar element trigger it's no sorry it's not this nav bar it's this one so open this again so nav bar this is the nav bar component here it's the only one where it, we can use the nav bar opens interaction so element trigger plus nav bar opens uh, when menu opens, I want to start an animation, create a new animation. I'm going to call it menu opens. And uh, so time that I'm in the animation, I wanted those four nav links to go opacity zero and to move minus 10. So opacity at zero, I want it to go zero percent. That's for the first one. Second one, opacity zero, zero. Same here. Um, opacity zero, zero. Opacity zero and zero. Okay, so that's for the opacity zero. And then again, I'm going to select each of them and move them on the Y minus 10. So that was, that was number one. Move minus 10. That's number four. Okay, it's a bit messy, but doesn't really matter. Minus 10. Okay, again, here is zero. All the move, there are zeros, zeros. As number three, I have done. No, I've done. Yes, yes, yes. So I just missed the number two here. I want to move. Zero. Minus 10, okay. Let's take this one at the bottom here, okay. So I move my four nav links minus 10 on the Y. This one is zero, see, again. Okay, I move my, my four nav links on the Y minus 10 pixels and opacity 0%. Okay, now let's go back to the template. Nav opens, nav opens. So this is done, this is done. So the first at zero, zero is the menu button. So this cross here, I want it to rotate 135 degrees in 0 0.6 seconds ease. Let's do this. Um, okay, again, sorry, two. How much was it? 13506. 
navbar menu opens so I select my menu button zero here no it's this one this zero you click a plus you want to rotate zero six one thirty five Close this one, I go back to the template. So, okay, I missed, I missed those four here, sorry. So I, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. So we, we still have to do those four, which are, I want to show every link at zero, zero, zero. So show the four nav links. So I, I do opacity zero, but I still want to show them. So let's do that. Close nav bar. Menu opens. Menu opens here. So at zero zero, I want to select my first nav link. Show here. Yes. And do the same for every one. Show. Third nav link. Show. And fourth. Show. Okay, so I now have my four nav links. So this is the menu button rotation. Okay, good, done. Let's go to the template. Now for opens, so those is done, this is done, this is done. So 0 0.2 seconds, what do I want? I want my nav link one to move back to original position in 0 0.3 seconds, is out. So 0 to 0 0.3 is out, zero. Let's do that, nav bar opens menu opens so here we go I select my first link at the bottom here move 0 0.2 0 0.3 is out 0 okay template nav bar nav bar opens so this is done. This is uh, the one we've just done here. Original position on Y. What's the second one? I want on 0 to 0 to, to uh, go opacity 100%. So at the same time than moving, I want to go opacity 0, oh, opacity 100% uh, in 0 to seconds for the nav link 1. Let's do this. Navbar. Menu opens. At the bottom here. This is my nav link number one. So at the same time, I want an opacity duration 0 to 100%. Nice. Template. Navbar opens. Navbar opens. Uh, so this is done, this is done at 0 0.4 now. What do I want? I want my nav link number two to go back to initial position on Y in 0 0.3 seconds is out. 0 0.4, 0 0.3 is out, 0. Let's do that. So... I select my second nav. I want to move. Delay 0 04. Duration 0 03. Is out. 0. And like we did with the um, with the previous nav link, I guess we have to do opacity 100%. Uh, so 
plus opacity 100%. How much was this one? 0, 02. I guess it's 0, 02 as well. Not sure. We're gonna we're gonna make sure in the template, but pretty much sure it's the same. So template. No, close this one. Template. Navbar opens. Navbar opens. What's left? Um, uh, uh, what was this one? This one? Okay, so 0, 03, zero 02, good. So now uh, navbar, uh, navlink 3, zero 03, back to 0. So zero 06, zero 03 is out 0. New project, navbar opens, menu opens. I want my third navlink. This plus here, I want it to move on 0, 06. Duration 0, 03 is out 0. And like the two other ones, opacity 0 to 100%. Okay, close this, template. So this is done, this is done, yeah. So the last two ones is the Navlink 4 at 0, 08, same move to initial position is out. So 0, 08, 0, 03, 0. Navbar. Navbar opens, menu opens. Select the last nav link here. Move at 0, 08. Duration 0, 03 is out 0. Okay, okay, okay. So we are, we are done with the interaction on menu opens. Let's, um, let's have a look if I preview here. So if I click, what do I get? I get, so the links are not aligned in the center. And uh, this, there is a gray area here and there's one link missing. I don't know why. And it's, it's super, super long here. Okay. So it's clearly not done yet. So first let's, um, Let's do the link, yeah, link in the center here. If, if I open the template, I see my link, they are like nicely aligned in the center. So that's going to be easy. Just have to go here, nav link, and uh, align center. That should work. If I go to the preview here, yeah. So I have to do this for all, every single link. But that's okay, there's only four. Okay, so preview. Okay, I have my links. And I have this gray area here. Let's get rid of this. So the preview here. Um, I have to go to menu button. Op uh, to the settings here, open menu. And here you go. So when I open the menu, there is uh, like a background color on the menu button. So to change that, I have to go to styling. I see the open here, so I can, it means I, I, I'm modifying the styling when it's open and I put background transparent. Nice. So now I got rid of the gray, of the gray background. Cool. Preview. Let's have a look. What's, I have no idea why this, this the last one is, is not there. Let me take a look at the interaction. Maybe that's why. So nav bar opens, menu opens at the bottom here. Okay, nav link four here, I forgot to set opacity 100%. So that's why we don't say it. So nav link here, I need to opacity uh, zero two, I guess, one hundred percent, like the other ones. Yes. Okay. So now we should see all four links. Let's have a look.
preview. Nice, I have my four links like the template. So now I just need to set the, the second interaction on, on the navbar closes and, and we are done with this uh, component. So uh, navbar here, let's have a look at the template. In the template, mouse closes, uh, menu closes, navbar closes, oh, okay, simple. I just want my menu button, so this cross here to rotate back to zero in zero three seconds with an ease. So that's gonna be quick, zero three zero ease. Navbar, navbar opens, menu closes, I want a new interaction plus I'm going to call it menu closes like the other one and I want to rotate no not this one not enough bar I want my menu button plus to rotate in zero three is on Z I want to rotate it back to zero degrees here so if I go to preview and I open and close, that's it. Is it exactly the same? Not exactly. As you can see, when I close here this one, the template, when I close, it disappears in one second. This one, when I close, I see the links going back up. So I think this is because if I, yeah, if I look in the template here, settings, duration. So when I open the menu, the duration is zero milliseconds here on the template. If I go to my nav bar here, it's 400 milliseconds. Let's set this to zero. Let's go back to the preview. So this is my template. This is my project. So we are pretty much, yeah, we're done. Template and new project. That's it. So that's it for this tutorial. It was a pretty long one, so I hope you guys could follow along. If you have any questions, just uh, comment below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. To find more clonable components, uh, Webflow interactions and Webflow tutorials, go visit nocodetribe.com and don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, not to miss any Webflow tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.